Hello students, hi, and welcome back to the course. I hope that you are enjoying the playlist and benefiting from it. So, in this video or in this lecture, we will be talking about uh, our, or taking an overview about the toolbox menu. And we already have talked about the most important lists or menus in the Visual Studio platform as the toolbox, the properties window, the, the solution explorer menu. So in this video or this lecture, we will be taking an overview, exploring and discovering the tools that was available in the toolbox menu or the toolbox uh, window in the Visual Studio. So let's start. So we can basically find the menu from here. And if it's, if it's not appearing here, we can basically uh, choose it from the view menu in the menu bar we can find a toolbox or basically press with your keyboard on the control alt x uh, keys so we have it already here so we have like they are already the the tools we have available they are already setting up in in a very organized way like the tools related to containers the tools related to data the tools related to printing dialogues reporting and so but i usually like to use the common controls because they already have all the all the like the tools we usually will be using in any kind of applications or any kind of systems any kind of programs but of course sometimes we need another uh, special tools we may be making in future videos we will be learning how to make the tools ourselves uh, with their specific designs so but usually as a beginning uh, usually it's really preferable to start with the comment controls because they were they already like containing everything we usually will be using so uh, we can start uh, we cannot basically talk about every single one because there are so many of them uh, but we will talk about the most common ones that maybe around 10 tools they will be in every single application in this world I mean 90% you will be finding them so we can basically start with the button I don't think that there is any system or application is built with no buttons so the button is usually working with a click command you can choose something else but usually with a click command so we can add the button here in the forum, in the design, in the screen. And after we design it, after we choose it or drag it here and drop it, we will be going to the properties window to change its like properties, like the, for example, the, the four color for the font. And we can choose like the back color. We can maybe something very clear like red then we go to the four color and do it white for example so you can see the font color has been changed we can go to the font to change the font itself we can go to the flat style to change it like it's going to like a style now uh, it's a flat it's a style so we can also do pop-up standard and we can see these like changes in real when we start the application from this button we can see how it's how it will be working and i will be leaving it for you so you can experimenting with it so the action or what will be happening when we click in this button when we do double click on this button or click key mean uh sorry in arabic i mean uh, right click then view code or f7 what, whatever we want to be implemented when anybody using the application a click or press in this button we will be writing it up here okay so i hope that's clear so we can jump into the uh, um, to another tool like the checkbox for example it's also very 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 common it's like the ones you see in applications like in form applications or in surveys where you get a chance to choose more than one option the checkbox is the best place to use this for it and it's also like once we drag it and drop it here we can go to properties to change its properties like style font size font color how it will be working and so on and so forth and also we have the label it's basically like the title for anything like we can put a title here and uh, change that title to for example from text we can change choose more than one option like this and we can drag and drop more than one check checkbox okay 
and uh, the other one is the combo box it's also very 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 common we see it in applications and online applications for example when you sign up for a program or a platform like when you sign up for facebook for example you will be choosing your country and uh, uh, they are using the combo box for that which is at exit box but when pressing or clicking on this uh, arrow down arrow they will be giving you a list and a bunch of uh, options to choose to choose from and it's usually used in like in in countries in regions and so on and so forth and also there is uh, there is the the picture box tool which is basically a container for images and pictures so when we drag it and drop it here we can go to its properties then choose to press on these like three dots icon go to local source import it will be open uh, it will open my explorer like my files the files i have on my computer then i pick up a picture click on it then come here to press an ok button and i will be magically finding the image up here and another really uh, extremely used uh, tool which is the text box it's really simple basically uh, it's the text box or the place where you write your name in applications your last name first name email password and so on and so forth so yep and also we can do a title for it like copy and paste we can give it name for example going to the name or password whatever so yes it's highly really used and i think that's very much it all the and we have also the radio button it's the same as the checkbox but the difference is in the checkbox we can choose more than one option so we i can like uh tick on this and tick on this but in the radio button i can only choose one option that's the difference from uh between the checkbox and the radio button in the common controls we have some of other like tools but believe me these are the tools that extremely really used like the picture box the label the text box the checkbox the radio button the combo box and the button and uh, there is the list box for example it's the same as the text box but it's like you can uh, it's the same as it's combining like the the list box is 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 the same as the text box and the combo box one in two so it will be having more than one text like the combo box but it will be like uh, showing it in the same way as the text box not like the combo box so you will you don't have an arrow to 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 click on it then have all the options because all the option all the options will be already appearing in the in the in the like in the last box already when you start the program uh, I don't think that uh, we have any other tool that it's really highly used so maybe the last one we can talk about is the date time booker which is already a uh, built-in function or built-in tool which is you can add it to to the to your program here for example we have a b very basic form which we have a picture here for example our logo or something then we have text it here saying your name another one saying your country for example then we're giving the user to take more than one option like uh, is uh, is he interested in science technology anything else so he can choose more than one interest and in this one for example male or female we can do both for example so he can only pick one then he choose his or her birthday so basically pressing on this arrow will give him something like a calendar so they can choose and then here for example it's not in a usual form but yeah there will be more than one text like uh, uh, organized uh, horizontally so yep more than one text maybe some descriptions or confirmation uh, information it's also we have another tool which is the rich text box it's the same it's something similar to the to list box but it's more uh, likely the like the text box not like the combo box not like the list box the list box is uh, a mix between the text box and the combo box then basically the user will press on the button so the click function will be implemented so the code that's here in here will be applying or implementing so yes that's very much it i hope that it was a very simple and easy and uh, helpful lecture for you please comment down below if you have any ideas uh, for example any feedback you need me to take up the speed and 
go for example more complicated more quickly as you wish or maybe do the lessons to be more uh, like more in their long like uh, maybe more minutes because I'm trying to keep them very short and simple and like short and sweet so yes please uh, down below with your feedback comments any ideas so thank you very much for watching and I hope that you are benefiting from the lectures uh, the course at, uh, like as a whole and uh, in total in general I mean um, so yes thank you very much and see you in the next lecture bye